is really good. If you want to get doy quicker, I recommend this. I always wonder what's this dodgy, creepy, sleazy looking predator to guy doing this hot chicken airport. I always, I always think we're the old couple for sure. You're an order, you're a dodgy, you're a con man, you're a fraud, you're a predator. <laughs> I know, mate. I know. Two dollar hotel seer. <clears throat> $2 hotel series. Your mum stayed over last night, now she's weary. Potatoes, corn, bananas, bananas. $2 hotels, $2 hotels. Say hi to your mum, tell your mum I'm gonna be a bit late tonight, late tonight. Potatoes, corn, bananas, bananas. $2 hotels, $2 hotels. Say hi to your mum, tell your mum I'm gonna be a bit late tonight, late tonight. Potatoes, corn, bananas, bananas. $2 hotels, $2 hotels. Say hi to your mum, tell your mum I'm gonna be a bit late tonight, late tonight. Potatoes, corn, bananas, bananas. $2 hotels, $2 hotels. Say hi to your mum, tell your mum I'm gonna be a bit late tonight. Potatoes called bananas, bananas, two dollar hotels, two dollar hotels. Say hi to your mom, tell your mom I'm gonna be a bit late tonight, late tonight. Potatoes called bananas, bananas, two dollar hotels, two dollar hotels. Say hi to your mom, tell your mom I'm gonna be a bit late tonight, late tonight, late tonight. Oh, it's been a long day. It's time for some R and R. We're walking around Thailand, a bit of sun protection off the schnoz, and uh, beautiful day here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's overcast, a bit rainy. Feels good. My neck muscles are starting to get a little bit better. I rode a few kilometres from the airport last night, but I had to stop and walk. I should have to change hands here. Oi, um, this is too painful. So I won't be riding for a while. I'll be walking around Chiang Mai uh, to get around. Walking's not too bad. For my neck and that, the, the, the hand goes numb, the shoulder goes numb, the traps, the tries go numb, neck. So it'll be, uh, you know, interesting walking around Thailand. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I may, ride, I may be able to ride the bike properly this trip, might not be able to. Here's what it is. Uh, get a lot of massage, I've been getting about an hour a day massage, it seems to help a bit. It's just, what's the injury? Just overuse, you know, it's uh, just overuse, too much muscle, you know, my body's not, look at, the upper, look at the upper body muscle I have on my body now. My body's not designed for as much muscle, you know, when, you, when your testosterone levels are as high as mine, um, the muscle just, it just blows up, right? your muscle just dense, tissue just blows up, and it's, it's you know, it's tissue in there, it's like growing inside, it's not just water weight, it's like actual real lean mass from elevated super physiological levels of testosterone. So, yeah, so I think I would slow the testos a lot to try and get rid of this muscle to create a bit more looseness, flexibility there. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna be <laughs> stiff as, you know. Tasha's gonna get some 7-Eleven stores. This, I might even get a motorbike. I think I could probably ride a motorbike and not be too too bad, maybe. Uh, we'll try it out anyway. This is a great bike shop, Velo City. You know, they supported my festivals for many times, so if you're in Chiang Mai, if you need any bike support, go see Quan, uh, Quan Chai. I used to race with him like 20 years ago in Australia. He came over there for a bit. And you got Maya Mall just over here. Maya Mall and Velo City's on the left. And Doi Tep straight up there. The, this, oh, this road is like a, a place of legends. In Chiang Mai, place of legends. Infamy. <laughs> the, the shenanigans that went on in Chiang Mai. It's iconic. It's good to be back. The drama, the joy. The pain, the pleasure, the times up, the doy, the weight loss transformations, the scams uncovered, the... Oh man, the Chiang Mai is just scandalous. Scandalous. Actually, I'll take that back. Chiang Mai is not scandalous. Whoa, Chiang Mai is not scandalous. The uh, Always watch where you're going. You know, always watch where you're going. Chiang Mai is not scandalous. The, the scandalous events that happened here. <laughs> the, the clout chasing that went on. But everyone who came to my event had a fantastic time. You know, it was, uh, yeah, good times by all. Wow, it's good to be back in Chiang Mai. <laughs> Things back, man, this, man. This is a little juice here. It's got the sugar in there, the full sugar. It's pretty good. Natasha recycling duties. Recycling. Lucky legs, Nick's 11. Look at it, put it 
Seven, seven solar. The old Cock Shocks World Cup 2004. I'm in front of them. Some nice bikes in here. Even break for the win. Nice, good colour. I like that. It's a cool colour. Not sure about the, uh, the pizza cutters though. Grail mean gravel trail. Um, little stuff sitting here, generator and that, just out in the street, out in the street. If that was in, uh, imagine if that was in Australia, how long that would last for? Not long at all. That would last all of five seconds. That's what I love coming into Thailand. It's feel so safe here. The main danger is motorbikes. I always be looking where you're walking, man. Like there's obstacles on the ground. And there's obstacles on the motorbikes, all right? So always Thailand, pay attention and always have good, good footwear. Really important. I'm gonna try and get my shoes fixed today because right now I'm wearing slides, which is a bit silly. But we're gonna get some shoes fixed up here. Maybe get a haircut. Look at that. Haircut is about $1 here in Thailand. <laughs> I'm here to see a car for sale. Natasha's just gone up the road to get insurance checked out. So we're gonna get a car running. Do a bit of restoration project. Just kidding. But uh she's a bit rusty, isn't she? Damn, look at that. Random. I love Thailand, man. It's just the vibe here. It's just yeah, so chill, man. It's so relaxed, you know? Just so relaxed around here. It's awesome. You know? <laughs> Thailand's an incredible place to train and work because it's so decompressed. A lot of people come to Thailand, it's Farang, foreigners like me, they call them Farang here, which means guava or bird dung, Farang, and they come to Thailand and they go a little bit, a bit crazy, you know, especially getting to the grog and the, and the drugs and stuff that are here, um, because there's just, it's just so little pressure in Thailand, it's just like, boof, alright, so it's the first time people in their life have had no real sort of pressure and obligation that they don't have to deal with that, so they get caught up in the drug scene, that's really, really bad, so Thailand's a place where you come, you work hard, you train hard or you rest and recover hard, whatever you have to do. Well, I like coming in here, you know, just, you know, having a break from the stims, everything, just, just chilling out, man, chilling out. So I'm looking forward to chilling out here in Thailand. And also, I've seen a lot of relationships fail in Thailand because people get dehydrated, they don't have enough sugar, and then you've got two people in a relationship, or one, high cortisol, they're having caffeine, cortisol even higher, and uh, step over here. You know, that can cause some relationship problems. I've seen a lot of relationships fail in Thailand. And also those ships come together, you know, people getting it right, getting the sugar on. So yeah, it's definitely a place where, you know, you've got to look after your hydration needs and your sugar needs. Prioritize it all gold. Chick, see that chick just walked past, I'm going to go hit her up and get a number. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later on how it went. Also in Thailand, the, the cars don't stop at pedestrian crossings, they just go straight through, okay? So, always look left and right, cars don't stop for you. Unless they see you. <laughs> so uh, don't, don't just walk across the road thinking they're gonna stop because they generally don't, okay? So different rules here in Asia. Different rules here in Asia. See that doy up there? And that's actually, that's actually modeled after Tori. You know, when Tori got a haircut, they uh, put a face up there. Pretty sure Tori still has the com, the quam, the queen of the mountain up the doy ripper time. I don't think anyone's gonna take Tori's time anytime soon. It is a very, very fast time. Tori put out a monster time up there, up the doy. Um, it's a fast climb, it's an awesome climb. These kids are holding hands. That's pretty cool, you don't see that in Australia because the kids are full of Xanax. I noticed with Asia as well, especially Thailand, there's, especially in the rural areas, super, super innocent people. It's just, yeah, so trustworthy, so nice. It's like, Thailand, baby, Thailand's incredible. Asia in general, but Thailand especially. Vegetarian pizza pretzel with plant-based chicken and mozzarella cheese, so something for the vegetarians. Pineapple is really good. Comes in plastic, unfortunately, but it's just incredible. Dragon fruit good, pomelo good. Papaya really good. So yeah, really good stuff. This is Rimping Supermarket. You can see the prices here. 
in Thai bark. So the bananas, again, in plastic, can't avoid that. 42, really, really good bananas. These are incredible. The pomelo is incredible. It's 99 and 199. And this is vegan as well. Just pull that for the camera. It's a miles of pan. It's very low cacao, so accidentally vegan. So that's 428. The average Thai person would really struggle to afford that. So it's pretty crazy how fruit is so expensive. The average person here can't afford it. Except for bananas. Bananas here are cheap. 42, 40 ringgit, uh, 40 baht. People can afford that. But the durian, I mean, fruit used to be, you know, 10, 15 years ago, fruit used to be so much more affordable. And the Binping supermarket is like a top tier supermarket here in Thailand. But if you go out to the country areas, then fruit is more affordable. But generally, pomelo's pricey, durian's pricey. Never used to be like that, though. Things are changing. Man, those, those, that Thai fruit, it's like drugs, bro. Drugs, man. That's hit the spot. Oh, man. Thai fruit. Man, next level, bro. When you get good, that, good, that was good quality pomelo then. It wasn't 10 out of 10, but I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Yeah, makes you feel different. Just hits different. Pomelo seeds, these will grow. We'll put them just in here. They'll literally grow in there. All right, little garden there. Bananas, coconut. Now we've got pomelos. It's a jackfruit tree. That one just there. This is one of Natasha's little favorite snacks. It's like a little cracker. Fat free, pretty much. What's in them, basically, Natasha? Yeah. Here we go. So, yeah. Rice, soy sauce, seaweed, sugar, seasoning. A few flavor enhancers, all good to go. So, if you want something lean, low fat, little snack, boom. This is how they look. Very tasty, crunchy.